All of you should know who Miss Chris O'Brider is, right? Um, so Chris has worked uh, in the RTC department and at Western Michigan for 28 years. All right, and she's getting ready to retire. All right, she's working on the 29th year right now. Uh, but she's getting ready to retire. Uh, we wanted to do something to honor her and her commitment to this program, uh, to the thousands of cadets that have come before and that she's put through this program and to help mentor and put through this program. Uh, so we're doing the Chris O'Brider Scholarship. I am going on year 29 at Western. Uh, 22 of those have been right here at uh, the, in the Army ROTC department. So why did you initially choose to work in the ROTC department? Um, I initially started at Western on a soft money grant um, department and the grant was uh, due to expire and I was looking for something a little bit more solid. And I didn't, honestly, I didn't know that there was a military science department here at Western until someone said that there was something military and they knew I had been prior service, so they thought maybe this was, this was something right up my alley. So I came, I interviewed, and I've been here ever since. I love it. To a brand new cadet, the best advice would be to take your first semester seriously. It's really hard to recover from a bad first semester. Uh, but we think it's a great way uh, to honor somebody that has dedicated 28 years of their life uh, to this program and to helping cadets become officers. Trust your NCOs. I know they'll hear it a lot as they progress through, but you know, the NCOs have been where they're going and they're the best source of information for them. I guess what gets me up in the morning is knowing that um, I still love this job um, and I look forward to seeing how all of the students are going to develop. I'm, they come in, brand new, squeaky clean freshmen, first time away from mom and dad, and they live, when they leave here, they're young lieutenants, young adults. And it's, it's amazing to see how they develop and how they mature. I can't even express what it means to me. Um, it means that all the blood, sweat, and tears that I've put into this program um, didn't go unappreciated. And even when there were times when they did, it doesn't matter because it wasn't for the program, it was for the students. Uh, once we can probably grow it to an endowment, which is what our eventual hope is, which depending on how long that takes um, and who donates, uh, uh, that would be a huge thing for us uh, and for her, but it would be in her name. After seeing 450 plus officers come through the program, uh, removing Alex Shell from that equation. Who is your favorite cadet? Oh, well, that's easy. By far, my favorite cadet is 